This film is a rare surviving silent short made by Mabel Norman and Max Sennett at Biograph Studios, which was released in 1912, only some months before Keystone Studios was founded by Sennett in California. Despite being at the height of her youth and vitality, Mabel's acting is more restrained here than it would be in her subsequent Keystone slapstick comedies, which is adequate to the slower pace of this film. Still, we can see here some trademarks of the future output of Keystone Studios, especially by portraying Mabel as an intelligent woman with some independence and strength of character, which is a contrast with Victorian women, themselves in distress, who were totally dependent on their male guardians. Mabel is a spendthrift, and her mother-in-law doesn't agree with her extravagance, while her husband tries to please both Mabel and his mother. It's clear that both women do not really get along, but they have to live very close, or perhaps even in the same house, and it causes conflicts on a daily basis. Mabel shows that she is not the type of wife who would tolerate a bossy mother-in-law without fighting back. Mabel is not satisfied with the interference of her mother-in-law and goes shopping anyway. Upon her return, Mabel clashes with her mother-in-law again. Meanwhile, her husband is running out of patience with all this conflict at home. On the following day, Mabel gets some money out of her husband's pocket without his knowledge. He realizes the money is missing, but doesn't attribute it to Mabel, and thinks he lost it somewhere else. He stands up to have breakfast, only to see Mabel and his mother arguing again. Therefore, he says, one must leave. Mabel sets some beautiful furs in a shopping window and finds them simply gorgeous. Then she had the idea of pawning her furs, but unfortunately her plan wouldn't have the result she expected, as the furs she wanted so much ended up going to her mother-in-law, and Mabel doesn't disguise how furious she really is. This cute little film shows two legends of cinema, Sennett and Mabel, in the beginning of their careers in films and their unique comedic style that could already be observed. It's also interesting that biographies films by the duo tended to focus more in the lives of wealthier citizens. Even Mabel's clothing and hat were more elaborate than those that she usually wore in her subsequent characters of Keystone films. Such paradigm would be deeply changed at Keystone Studios, famous for showing the lives of working class citizens.